Hi, I'm Aidan Quigley from AQ.ie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about tech, web design, and branding. In today's video, I'm gonna show you seven of my favorite Mac apps for productivity in 2021. And the great thing about them is they're all free. So if you like the content, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. Let's go. First up is a time tracker called Toggle Track. So with this one, what I like is basically it, you can create an entry for a specific amount of time and it allows you to be very descriptive with what you're saying. You can put in a description, you can select the project, you can add tags, for instance, um, is it the design part of it? Is it client admin? That kind of thing. In case you in case you forget what, what you've spent your time doing, it shows you on the right hand side, you've been using Finder, you've been using Safari, you've been using uh, QuickTime Player. Um, so that's pretty handy, I really like it. So second app that I'm gonna mention is Trello. Now this is one of my all time favorite productivity tools that gives you this kind of user interface that you can basically drag and drop cards. So it's kind of similar to post-it notes in real life. Um, you, can, you can write stuff, you can, you can drag in images, you can change the background so that you can see something that you like to see. This is an affinity diagram that I did for one of my UX uh, projects for the UX professional diploma that I'm doing and as you can see you can create all of these different cards you can label them you can add a due date if it needs to be done by a specific amount of time if you're tracking activities you can remove that you can assign it to different people so I can assign this to myself and then I get notifications if people comment on it you can add power-ups um, so in the free version you get one power-up uh, let me see I'm going to add the calendar because that is something that I quite like to see. Visually, you can you can then visually just view the view the project as different. Say I had assigned let's uh, let's assign a date to one of these. You can then view it in the calendar. So it's really good for keeping track of different things. Um, I've used it for. Uh, just project management, for organizing my life, for so many different things, and it's definitely one of my favorite apps. So next up is a very useful little utility app called Spectacle that is super handy for resizing windows. So I often have a lot of windows open for uh, you know different things like photos, whether I'm researching, how to do coding, so many different windows open all of the time. And this is something that has changed my life in terms of how I'm juggling them. So with Mac OS, you obviously have the different things like App Expose, you have the thing that shows the, the desktop, you have the app switcher, all of that. Um, it's very useful, but what it's kind of missing is something that can allow you to easily toggle or position the apps where you want them to. So this is something that, uh, that does that. So with just a couple of cool um, keyboard shortcuts, you can make something fit the left half of the screen or uh, the right half of the screen, or you can make it the top right corner or the bottom right corner, or uh, there's a lot of things you can do with spectacles. So you can also switch displays as well. Uh, very useful. I, you can put something in the center, like it's just, it just saves a lot of time instead of having to go around and drag drag the window to exactly where you want it to be and then sometimes it's not fully on the screen this just removes any of the guesswork so good and it saves a lot of time so one of my favorites so next up is amphetamine which is an app that allows you to basically keep your mac awake you can set it to um to stay on indefinitely so that will mean that it won't go to sleep you can set it for a matter of minutes uh, hours um, or while a specific app is running. If I'm, for instance, using multiple devices and I don't want the device screen to go to sleep because I'm using it for reference, that definitely is, it's, it's very useful. So next up is another app that I find super useful. It's called Copy Clip. So it essentially keeps a list of all the things that you've copied and pasted. Uh, so that you can go back and get it. So say you want to copy in some text from a document into an email or another spreadsheet or a doc you're working on, and then you want to grab some other text like um, 
creating the best web design education online from Flux Academy. And you want to copy that in. Oh, and it's white. <laughs> Let's just uh, change the color quickly. So say you do that and you then want to go back, uh, but you've closed the window for this one. You want to get the text to paste in something else. You have a list here of the different things that you've copied to your clipboard. And essentially by clicking on it, then you can just paste it in again. Say you've copied a phone number from someone earlier in the day and you're looking to paste it into an email that you're writing. You can go here and you can just grab it and uh, press command V to paste it in. So useful. Next app for Mac productivity is called Image Optum. This one's super handy in that in case you ever need to reduce the file size of an image, maybe you're uploading it to a website or you just need to send it to someone in an email and it needs to be smaller so that you're, you can fit in the email. It's really handy. You basically, you just drag and drop the image in. So I have it here on my desktop. I'll just pop it in. It does a little calculation and it has reduced the file size by 50%. So it's actually um, a very large image. It was three megabytes before, now it's 1.5 megs. It's 5,600 pixels wide by 3,700 pixels um, long. So it, it it's quite a large image, but what's happened is this is it now. If you zoom in, it's still very high quality. Um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a difference in the quality uh, with the default settings. You can go into Image Optum as well and you can change what you want it to do. You can change the quality level. So for JPEG, uh, I've set it here to 76%, give or take. Um, for PNG, you can set it to whatever you want. For GIF as well, you can do it. And it works with all of those. So it's very, very handy. And you can go in and you can say how much optimized do you want it to be? Do you want it to be normal, extra, insane? Uh, because I'm looking for really snappy websites, I've set it to in between extra and insane so that the images are very compressed. Um, so I think that that is a very useful tool, whether you're sending emails or whether you're uploading images to your website, very useful. So the final tool is what I've been using to record all of these videos where you see my face in the corner and it's called Loom. So to start Loom, basically you just go in and it shows you what you're recording. So you have your screen and camera, you have that it's full screen. You can pick the device at the moment I've set Epoch Cam and my Yeti microphone. So what I find it really handy for is when you need to explain something to someone and they're not available to jump on a call with you, it's really easy to just go through it and show them how to do something because sometimes it's easier to understand what people really mean when you can see them expressing uh, through facial, facial expressions. It allows you to record for up to five minutes for free. And then after that, you have to pay for the service, which I think is about $8 a month. Um, but yeah, it's super useful. Definitely worth checking out. So those are seven of my absolutely favorite Mac apps for productivity in 2021. If you liked this video and found it useful, let me know in the comments below. And please feel free to share if you have some other great productivity apps to use for the Mac. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos that are gonna pop up at the end of this one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That's it, thanks.